This is an overview video of the IPC 4K18 4K IP dome camera. It is a PoE dome camera, 4K resolution, 30 FPS. In the box, you'll get a quick start guide, a template for helping you install the camera, knowing where you want to drill your pilot holes, a pack of screws and anchors, weather grommet that goes on the pigtail over there to keep it protected from the elements, and an Allen key to unscrew these aluminum screws. Please don't use a drill to open the dome cover, otherwise you're gonna ruin the screw heads. But use the Allen key and open the dome cover to access and mount the dome. Now I'm gonna show you how to basically aim this dome camera so you don't damage it. So with this camera, it is a PoE, you run your CAT5 or CAT6 connected in here. Crimp it properly using the T568B method. This is a 12 volt DC connector. Sometimes people use it for testing. Sometimes they want to power it with a 12 volt connector. That's what it's for. Please do not cut any of these connections off. The camera dome and camera itself are white color because of thermodynamic reasons to keep the temperature of the camera low. Please do not paint it because that will void the warranty. It'll make the camera heat up more and it'll fail. So this is a dome cover. If you are using it and you're taking off this plastic film and you're mounting the camera, please note your fingerprints will get onto this or even on the inside if you touch it. You have to clean it with Windex to resolve any sort of nighttime issues with IR reflection or IR glare. Inside the camera, there is a foam ring here. You do not remove that, leave it intact. One thing that you want to watch out for is Understand where there are connections or ribbon cables going from the board underneath to the camera assembly itself. You don't want to sever the cables, otherwise the camera will become non-operational. When we ship these cameras, we test them before shipping them to you under video surveillance to ensure that they're in working order. So if you get this camera and you cut one of these wires by accident, the camera will stop working and no warranty will cover that. So to mount the camera, you drill your pilot holes using this template that's included. You would put in your anchors and then you would use a hand-driven screwdriver to screw the camera in from here. Now to aim the camera, there are two things you need to be aware of. The assembly lets you tilt to a certain degree, not more than that, on one side, otherwise you risk damaging these wires. And you can tilt this way to aim the camera. So the camera is supposed to be mounted on eaves, and this is the amount of freedom you get aiming the camera. That little click happens as you cross the vertical here. So to give you a sense of the amount of angle you can get out of the camera, it's this much. Or you can have it look straight down and then you can change it over to the other side. And that's perfectly fine as long as you're not cutting these wires. Now the other thing is this swivels a little bit. If you mounted your camera and you have it in the incorrect direction you'll notice that your picture will be upside down. You can rotate that picture by just rotating this assembly. You'll notice this assembly is rotating independent of this one. So this lets you rotate the angle of view. So depending on how you mounted it, you wanna have your IR not being blocked by the inside of this dome cover. So if the IRs are in the clear view, that means that they can shoot out and see. If you were to aim them so that the IR gets blocked by this white rim, the camera will have IR reflection issues. So in an ideal scenario, you would have your camera oriented like this. IR here. It's on the bottom of the dome. And then you can go mount the dome camera and I'll be looking 
without any sort of obstruction. Be able to see clearly with IR and in daylight. In addition to mounting the camera directly, just by screwing it in, like we discussed, there are optional mounts such as a junction box and a wall mount available to mount this camera should you need to. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.